Hello YouTube and welcome to Beltronics, where we talk about the latest tech trends of today. In this video, we are going to discuss the setup process of Fitbit Versa 2 to your iOS 13. Before we begin, ensure you dock and charge your Fitbit Versa 2. On your Apple device, go ahead and launch your App Store. Once you've launched the App Store, your search bar will populate and type in Fitbit App. Now in this download, you will see it as get, not the cloud with the down arrow, as I have downloaded it in the past. If you have not done so, you should say get. Once it's finished downloading, go ahead and open the app. It's gonna ask you whether or not you'd like to use Bluetooth. Ensure you hit okay. We're gonna join and we're gonna click on Versa 2. On the bottom, Click Setup. Fill in the indicated fields on the screen, starting with your first name, last name, email, followed by your password. On iOS 13, there is a feature that would auto-populate a strong password for you. I strongly recommend it, but you definitely can create your own. Go ahead and check the two bottom boxes below and hit next. In the next step, Fitbit will ask you some personal questions just for accuracy. Go ahead and get those completed. Don't worry, I won't look. When it comes to the data, in time, you will be able to change it to imperial, to metric, to pounds, or kilograms once you create the account. Upon completion, click Accept on the terms regarding your privacy with your Fitbit device. Now it's going to ensure that your device is charged and docked. We have already done this at the very beginning of the video, but if you've forgotten, go ahead and do so now. It's going to search for your device, and once it's found it, it's going to connect. Now it's going to prompt you to enter the four digits on your device's display, so ensure you take a look at that on your Versa 2. For demonstration purposes, on mine it says 3666. This might not be the same number for you, so ensure you take a look at yours. After plugging in the four digits, it's going to connect to your Fitbit. Now your Versa does require to download all of the latest updates. In lieu, we're going to need to connect to your Wi-Fi network at home. Find your SSID, click on it, and we're going to enter the password. Once you've typed in your password, we're going to go ahead and hit connect. This will start the Fitbit setup process. Great, congratulations. Your Versa 2 is now connected to your network. At this point, we can now begin the setup and update process. Go ahead and click Start Update. During this lengthy setup process, you can use your phone, but keep it close to your Versa 2. I strongly recommend you stay within the app, as this could interfere with the setup process. Now while you wait, there are some features that you can check out with your Versa 2, like Amazon Alexa on your wrist, activity tracking, you're always on display. Your Fitbit pay from your wrist. Her heart rate and exercise and sleep tracking with your sleep score. As the setup process continues, you can see the progress bar on your Fitbit Versa. As it turns green, you know your setup and you're ready to go. Versa 2 is now ready. Now, if you value your privacy, there is an option to turn off the built-in microphone and disable it entirely for all voice features. Now that in mind, Amazon Alexa is built into your watch. In this section, you can log in with your Amazon account to be able to utilize Amazon Alexa. We're gonna go ahead and skip Alexa for now. And now we're gonna go ahead and try it on. Remove your watch from your dock 
and place it on your wrist according to preference. Fitbit will ask for your location. You can allow while using the app or always allow. Here's some wear and care tips for your Fitbit. And now we're all set. Fitbit Premium is a special feature. You can opt in here if you'd like. Do you want to pair with our phone with the Versa 2? We want to make sure we say yes. Also allow all notifications. At this point, the sync is complete. Congratulations, you have now completed your setup. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel as this will ensure your support and love so I can commit to more videos for you. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.